you're heading to Warwick Castle this summer, you may be thinking, wouldn't it be fantastic to stay overnight? But where should we stay? In one of the new glamping tents or in one of the luxury wooden lodges? Well, now's your chance to have a sneak peek at both accommodation options if you're struggling to choose. I'm going to show you first one of the glamping tents. This one is one of the larger tents which has three beds and is situated right at the front of the campsite with views over this really pretty field and there's a river just beyond. Outside the tent you'll see there's a small decking area with a table, chair, shelf, some lanterns. Then inside this is the real heart of the tent, this amazing four poster bed. It's a really great quality mattress and bedding and on each side there's another single bed, so one to the right, one to the left. As you can see there's loads of blankets and cushions, there's even a chandelier because the tents are electricity connected. So you have some small lamps, there's also a main light switch and two power sockets at the bottom of the bed, perfect for charging your phone. There's not a lot else, there's a chair so that you can have a seat and a mirror so you can check your outfit and there are a couple of storage chests. Now to the lodges, this is Lodge 119, it's also right at the front of the campsite, immediately next to the tents and as you can see there's this large wooden wraparound deck some of this is covered with a shelter so that even if it's a raining morning you can sit out with a cup of coffee and enjoy the view. There is a lovely wooden bench so that you can sit outside and it's a little bit of outside play area for the kids. You can see that there is just the one bench, there's nothing else provided outside. Entry is via a hotel style key system and when you enter the lodge you go straight into the bedroom. So as you can see it's medieval themed in design with shields and sconces and that kind of thing on the wall. There's a double bed, which is really comfortable. Again, there's power sockets and a bedside table. The lodges are double glazed, so they are reasonably quiet inside. If you're a light sleeper, that might be a factor for you. Now, here's one important difference between the glamping tents and the lodge, which is this bedside table. Um, you have a kettle with tea and coffee making facilities and above that is a small TV which picks up free view channels. Again, if you have kids that you might want to settle, then that's interesting. Um, I'm not sure what this is. It looks a bit like a dead bird, but okay. There's an airing cupboard which has some towels and spare bedding inside. Um, there is also a central heating control here and some space to hang up your clothes. Immediately next to that is the door that leads into the second bedroom. As you can see, there are bunk beds with a trundle bed underneath and a small window. And then this fun medieval style mural, which hopefully won't give your kids nightmares. It's not too scary, I promise. The other feature of the lodges is the bathroom. This is immediately next to the children's bedroom. And it's actually really lovely. It's not massive, but it's styled as a wet room. So there's a very large walk-in shower and shampoo, soap and shower gel are provided along with the towels. We tested out the shower and found it to be really great. So there you have it. If you've got any questions about the lodges or the tents, then please do let me know in the comments. Or if you've visited Warwick Castle and stayed overnight, let me know how you got on. I'd love to hear. Thanks very much for watching. Bye.